Thanksgiving Day has just come to Fall River, and the engines couldn't wait to make a few deliveries just in time for the feast. And by the instructions of the railroad manager, Tomic and Greg were to deliver passengers, Everett and Pierre were to deliver tables and chairs, and Houston and Jackson were to deliver the meals and beverages. You got that right, Mr. Narrator. And while that's going on, I've got a date with a trainload of Mountain Dew. Huh. I guess I haven't had that stuff since... But hopefully I'll be able to refuel again once I get me some good old Mountain Dew. 2020? Don't quote me on that. Jackson the Red Engine, what did I tell you about having any Mountain Dew in the railway of Fall River? What? Again with this? But boss, I love Mountain Dew, and I ought to have some right now. You can only be filled up with coal and water. No Mountain Dew in the Fall River premises. Boss, why do you hate Mountain Dew so much? Why? Well, there I was, back in 1983. We were looking forward to a great victory after a horrendous war. But I was oh so tired and oh so thirsty. I went back to my cabin only to realize that my cabin mate, Willie the Hillbilly, fixed up a secret formula for the two of us. It was, of course, Mountain Dew. It was oh so good and yet oh so sizzly. It was like the sweet, sugary nectar of the gods. So, like, what's the beef? Why can't I have any Mountain Dew on Thanksgiving? Because, Jackson, he did the one thing you must never do to a guy who enjoys a sip of Mountain Dew. <clears throat> oh, sweet Jesus, no! Yes, he belched right in front of my face! I'll never take a sip of Mountain Dew the same way ever again! <laughs> Bottom line, I don't want you drinking any more Mountain Dew, or I'll have to make you stay in the sheds until you are wanted, capiche? Well, just in case. <laughs>